YouTube, I'm not going to lie. The, the YouTube channel has been lit. The comments have been lit. The likes have been crazy. The feedback has been insane. And the views have been there. So it tells me you guys value this content. So we're not going to stop. The momentum's going to keep going. And I've been following your guidance and listening. And I'm going to drop the vlogs on this channel. We're not going to separate the two. We're just going to go hard on one channel. This one right here. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Because we're dropping almost daily content um, in this video. Video, we are including the consultation so I, I i do read the comments some of you guys wanted to keep that and other than that man i just want to say thank you if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the like button all that good stuff and yes this is the biggest pimple i've had on my nose since i was like 13 years old all right we got fabricio here thank you man for being a model i appreciate it he's a student in uh at Bernays over in newport richie so bro i appreciate it what are you getting done today i want to get out like a mid frame mid high Mid, mid high fade yeah we some 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 wear on the on the top with, with you want to take some off how yeah. do you usually style your hair i used to do a full hop a full hop yeah. okay so you you usually bring this all into the kind of into the middle mm -hmm. okay and and like the the look do you like it shiny do you like it more like a natural matte look um how do you do you use like hair gel what do you usually use to style? i use i use like elegant gel elegant gel okay and then do you line up the front or you keep uh, it natural? I don't know, to be honest. I, I think I want to keep it natural. Keep it natural? I think that's a good idea. Cool. Let's do it. It's going to be a cool. good cut. YouTube, what's going on? We are on fire. We got another tutorial for you guys. And this is going to be a full hawk. You guys saw the consultation. We are going to go ahead and create our length through the middle. And then we'll create our shape once our guide is created. By the way, shout out to Ghost Fit. They sent me this hoodie I'm wearing and it's it's superb quality. Love it. All right, so he wanted a faux hawk, faux hawk shape. So I'm gonna cut it into that shape because I want it to look like a faux hawk regardless if he has product in it or not. And then, you know, just talking to him, one of the conversations we had was, you know, he's not, he, he feels like no one really pays attention to the shape when he talks about, you know, what the final style he wants is just, just bringing that topic up with your clients, asking them, you know, what is the final look? What do you visualize your hair looking like? And then doing everything in your power to help them um, obtain that, but not just obtain it, but also maintain that. And part of it is cutting it. So he, so you know, one of the wackest things I feel like is, yeah, you know, somebody sits in your chair as a customer, and you give them a haircut, and you do all the styling and stuff, but they can never replicate that. But if you cut it in a way where it's, you know, it's easily replicatable, then that's a good haircut. How does it look, you know, a week from now, a few days from now, when they go home, take a shower and, and try to try to style their hair so that it looks like when they get out your chair. If if most of the look, the final look is you creating it with styling, I don't know. I try to cut it into the shape. So we're going to blow dry it and the reason why we're gonna blow dry it is because I wanna go in and texturize the cut. Say one of the faux hawk, usually a faux hawk is spike, spiky, um, has texture to it, and his hair is super, super thick, so I definitely wanted to take, a, take away some weight so that it's easier for him to create that faux hawk look and keep that faux hawk look throughout the day by removing weight, like so. And you know, these are things that I'm I'm exp I'm telling my clients. I'm talking to them. I'm letting them know why I'm doing some of the things that I'm doing. I mean, some of us some of us think that you know, we need to have the craziest fades and the craziest cuts and it's important I feel like to always try to be better, but we sometimes overlook making sure our clients are happy and their experience is right and consulting them over anything all right so we're gonna go ahead and start this initial guideline we're gonna ball them out using my babyless skeleton fx shout out to babyless for sending me these amazing trimmers which i think 
they recently started shipping i'm not sure maybe they shipped them to their influencers to their sponsored barbers because i've been seeing them lately i'm not sponsored by babeless but you know i i definitely rock with their vision with the people who are who are building babeless um amazing people so definitely support them any way i can outside of being sponsored go to 45 over here baby you see the power click on the bottom all right so we're gonna follow this up with the shaver we're gonna get this nice and tight and i'm um, i'm probably like fingernail away from the initial guideline I like to do this before I start the fade process because sometimes, especially beginners, they'll do the whole fade, then they'll do this process at the end and create lines and then just have more work to do. So if you do it now, you can attack it throughout the process as opposed to after the process and just tack on more time. All right, so now we're using the blade open. You can see the color chart just popped up and we're doing the blade open this is our first guideline well our second guideline the first guideline was with the the trimmer the second one is now with the blade open Okay, our next guideline after that would be the number one guard open. And these are the cordless seniors I'm using um, right now. I should have put a power clip on that thing just for the video, being honest. But I'm using Mac Gifted Hands clear, clear um, lids. That's why it looks a little different for anybody who's wondering. But they are cordless seniors. Okay, I'm using my number four now. This is the biggest guard I'm gonna use on the side, and I'm coming, I'm coming straight up. I'm creating a squared shape, straight up. I don't want to cut into the cowlick. I don't want to cut into the shear work that I that I just worked on before we started the clipper work. All right, so now let's go ahead and start to attack each of these sections, removing these guidelines. That's what they're for, they're to, keep a, they're to guide us so that we don't get lost through the process, through the fade. And I'm going close and I'm gonna open it up as I go up. Most of the models that you guys have been seeing like the last, I think the last six or seven videos, those are, those are first time cuts. One thing I could tell you guys is, look, I'm not the fastest the first time I cut somebody, and it's not the best quality the first time I cut somebody. So if some of you guys feel like, you know, the first time you cut somebody sometimes is inconsistent, that's totally normal. You're learning these people's hair, their head shapes, their growth patterns, densities, color, shading. Like there's so many things to it. Usually by the third cut, I start feeling comfortable start feeling confident and i start getting more efficient and i feel like the quality of my cuts start to go up usually by the third so if you are a client or a consumer who's watching this you know if the first cut seems pretty good and then the second cut seems better the third cut is always going to be it i'm telling you so if you are a consumer if you visiting the barbershop and you watch these videos because you're looking for your next look or you just like seeing stuff like this try a decent if the barber the first time does a great job does a good job by the third one i'm telling you if they are a keeper the third one's gonna be the best one you got all right so we are closed now with our number one and we're just following beneath where we just left off with that one open
Okay, at this point we had our half guard open and now closed. And we're going to do this on every side, the back, the left side. We're going to go open and then close it as we go down until we start seeing it. You know, we start seeing that fade come to life. You see it. You guys saw I drop down to the blade open. Um, sometimes you have to. Sometimes, you know, the hair is so dense and coarse. Um, you got to drop down to that blade open. If You know what I'm saying? Whatever it takes to create that gradient look. If it looks a little dark in a certain area, lighten it up. You don't have to always follow the rules. That's just life, right? Like, if you want to, do, if you want to be great at something, sometimes you got to break your guideline or your rules. Um, and just do what seems right and so like if there's a place that's dark even though it's above that blade open guideline take that blade open and lighten it up okay so at this point this is I think this is our last guard it's the two open see the two open two open or the three um, but we're going with our two open and then beneath that we'll go with our two closed and you already know after that's the one and a half guard I use the same system for every texture of hair. The same system. Trust the system. Whatever your system is, trust the system. So now I'm using my one and a half card like I told you. Okay, and now it's closed. And we're starting to really see this blend come together. So guys, I want to tell you today was the end of day two of the four day hands on course at Studio 45. And I'm having a blast, man. The, the, the group of guys that are in this class, they're amazing. Like one of the most skilled group of students that I have and like minded individuals and the questions they're asking go way beyond technique and cutting they're asking business questions they they got vision of doing great things in this industry and i just i love the fact that number one um yeah i'm helping them with their skill set and their careers but number two i'm networking with people in the future i know are going to do big things all right so now we have our one open and then we're going to close it as needed because what matters the most is creating that gradient Shout out to my cousin Tito Beats for always sending me some heat. So now we have the half guard. And again, we're just looking at this gradient and we're just trying to make it work. Blending down. Now that the half guard is closed. And if we got to drop down to that blade open, we will to bring it all together. All right. Like I said, blade open and close it as needed. And like always guys, if you want to be a model for one of my YouTube videos, one of my classes, whether it's for our students or for myself, please do check out freehaircutsformen.com or email me at basio at 245.com. All right, let's put this line on them. My client right here, my model right here, he used freehaircutsformen.com and he's in my chair. So the blend's already ready looking dope, the line's looking dope, but we got to enhance it. We got to bring it to the next level. This is just the icing on the cake, and look how it just, boom, comes together. So his hairline on this side is a little bit weak because of the direction that the hair is growing. It's high. We're going to make this thing hot. Check it out. Sheesh. Using the Sean Cuts hair template, 245 royal wax because he does want that 
that faux hawkish spiky with a slight shine so that's why we're using 245 royal wax and i feel like we're getting the look that we were looking for once i have styled the hair and i put the line on them i'm looking for imperfections okay let's put that that triple cartridge razor from 245 on them get that line real real sharp and if you are new to the channel i do own 245 um i am not sponsored by them and i see a little bit of a line there so i'm gonna go ahead and take the masters and just just start to touch up that bottom portion um just to just to pluck out that line and even on this side i felt like there was it was a little dark right around the ridge area so here on this side i'm taking that one open and i'm using the corners to just lighten up dark areas so after i styled it after i put the enhancement lined it i started detailing and this is the finished look let me know guys what you think in the comments below smash the like button if you like the cut and if you're new to the channel please do subscribe it helps out so much we're dropping almost daily content stop playing let's go